Hello, this is Tegan Views here, and welcome back to another video. And so this one, we can bring down the TMNT, the Power Rangers, to issue number one. So yeah, this one's going to be interesting, just because there's not really too much of a description, and there's a lot of really weird stuff going on with this issue. And yeah, it's quite weird. So first off, this issue is coming out on the 20th of December, which I do find a bit weird in a way. I don't really know why people are going to be going out after Christmas to a comic sh shop and getting comics. You know, it's a bit weird why they're going to be releasing it, but, you know. So, let's read the points which I did give out when they announced the issue. Okay, so the synopsis, which is a bit more weirder, it is. It's been six months since uh, the teenagers with attitude and the heroes in the hard shell teamed up to defeat the, un the unholy alliance of Rita Repulsa and Shredder. But a new threat will force them to reunite in the crossover you demanded. Between an invasion from beyond, old enemies teaming up with the unlucky appliances, and the threat to the Power Rangers themselves, will the two teams survive the onslaught or will they need help from the most unexpected al ally imaginable? Long-time Power Rangers Arctic uh, Ryan Potter it joins forces with a superstar artist Dan Mora. Um, and yeah, uh, collects all four connecting main covers by Dan Mora, a very special double gatefold variant, and don't miss the collection, uh, collector opportunity as Timothy, co-creator Kevin Eastman and Freddie Williams uh, the second team up for a variant cover for every issue of the series. But that's not all, a deluxe edition will include a 1 of, a one of 10 extreme trading cards and exclusive print uh, celebrating this uh, epic crossover event. Now, that's not all, because they also announced uh, on their, uh, of course, <laughs> it was announced a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Tim and T 2 issue 1 pack 1 and it's going to cost $40 and it's as it goes for. The ultimate collector set for the ultimate multi morphing Power Rangers and the Tina and the Tim and T Toll fan. In addition to the variant covers by legendary Tim and T co-creator Kevin Eastman, iconic covers artist Jenny Frinson, Bon Bernardo, and Cosmazel Blank Sketch Edition. You'll get unique variant covers by Mike uh, Del Mondo. It's closer to this pack. Don't get shell shot. Pre-order yours today, and may the power protect you. So, yeah, I like to first start off with I don't actually know where to get that pack, and I don't think there's anything I can really talk about with that pack, other than you're gonna get some really cool covers, which I've looked at them, and yeah, they do look really nice. And I really do want to get one in particular, um, the cover H1 with just April, the Power Ranger bow, I think that looks really nice. And the other ones, I'm not too sure what ones you really do get in there, and I don't really know where to get it. I would like to get this one to see what other covers you do get, as it does seem like an interesting thing. And I do wonder if it's going to be every month or every issue they're going to be doing a collector's pack, as I do think that's going to be quite interesting, but yeah. Okay, so let's actually go over the synopsis for a bit. So, uh, so the first bit has been six months with the with Power Rangers and the Tolls, but they defeated Rita and Shredder, but a new threat will force them to reunite in the crossover you demanded. Okay, so first I want to clarify this last bit section here, the crossover you demanded. I don't think there was anyone really demanding a second crossover. I think it's just more the fact that they set up a crossover that people wanted to see how they would do it and also that some people did enjoy this one. Me personally, I didn't really think this one was as good as it was, uh, or as, as it could have been, but some people did enjoy it, but I don't think this was a crossover that people were demanding to see. I think for the Batman and Tim and T crossover, I think people were demanding the second one of that because the first one was so good and somehow it worked, but this one I don't think people were really demanding or not that I could see of. So, um, so yeah, and then the villain, uh, which is going to be the new big bad, which is going to make them force uh, or force uh, to reunite, is going to be Krang because we still got uh, leaks. I'm not too sure is it leaks or they announced it. Uh, but either way, it was on. I think it was on one of the covers as well. But Krang is going to be in this one, and it's all did uh, set up as well was at the end of the first crossover. So I can't exactly blame too much, but I wish I'd just say their yeah, crank's just going to be in it. Okay, so the next bit, which is beyond uh, between an invasion from beyond, old enemies teaming up with unlikely appliances. Uh, uh, appliances? I'm not exactly too sure who, just because 
I got a feeling they're going to lean more into the Power Rangers side of things. I can't exactly see them bringing in loads of turtle characters than what they did bring in, so yeah. And the threat to the Ranger powers themselves. Will the two teams survive the onslaught, or will they need help from the most unexpected ally imaginable? So yeah, again here, I'm not exactly too sure who they could be referring to, just because again, this sounds more like a Power Ranger type thing. I mean, even though this is technically still a Power Ranger total thing, wouldn't like having a big threat to the uh, Ranger powers, I'm not too sure what that is. So yeah, I mean, unexpected ally, again, I'm thinking more something to do with Power Rangers. But because I don't really know too much about Power Rangers, I'm sort of a bit useless <laughs> for breaking it out down this whole issue. Uh, so yeah, uh, the next bit, long time uh, Power Ranger. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's not really too much there, but yeah. So I don't know. This issue sounds interesting. I know that they can't really go into detail and explain. Oh, the story is going to be this, this, and this, and this. But at the same time, it feels though they could give a little bit more detail other than just well, they're coming back together buy some comics, buy a, a pack and get some exclusive covers and a trading card. So yeah, it's not exactly the greatest start to a break or a comic series when you don't really have anything to go off of if it's going to be a good story, if it's going to be bad, but yeah. By saying that, we do have a lot of comic covers. As evidence by them wanting you to buy a $40, uh, $40 pack or about like, four, four, like five comics, or the same comic but by different covers. So I've selected a few uh, like covers which I thought like really st uh, like stood out to me, uh, and they do look beautiful. Uh, like quite a lot of them do. They they do generally do stand out, and I do you think that this crossover will definitely bring out the more artistic side of the like crossover things for this unique uh, crossover thing so we've got the first one which is cover e which is basically a the combined four part cross connecting cover thing yeah i'm not too sure how this one is going to work if this one is all them combined onto one when it took for them to connect I'm really confused by this, but either way, here's the full picture. Now, this one was uh, announced, or this one was used when they announced the whole uh, Power Engine crossover thing back in, um, or was it like August, June, something like that, when they had uh, Comic Con. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, we've got this next one by uh, Kevin Eastman and Freddie uh, Williams II, and it's just Tolls, Power Rangers, and Intellidrome. It looks really cool. I think maybe a hint towards Krang, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that looks really cool. It does look really nice. Next one, which I which does actually look really nice, and I would generally like to get this one, which is just April holding the like pa a pink Power Ranger bow. That one looks really nice. It it just works for some reason. Not exactly too sure how, but it just does. And then we got the tools in the Power Ranger suits. Say they look. It, I feel like it's a really good reputation of the Power Ranger suits or, or the Turtles. They look really nice, uh, cool. Next one, we got a big Bim Rocks Day versus a Megazord. I think that's what it's called. Again, it looks really cool, nice, and all that. I, I the thing is with this crossover, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna add to these videos in terms of just showing off what I've got here because I don't really know much about Power Rangers. <laughs> this is gonna be a waste of my time, like doing all these videos for this crossover. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then we do get this uh, this last one, which looks really cool, which is Leonardo in the Power Rangers suit, but not at the same time. It's like half and half, and it looks really nice. And I think it's just the artwork, or maybe the colours alone. It just works really well, and really, again, it really makes it stand out. I'm not too sure why, but I've got a feeling that going forward with this crossover, we're going to get some more excellent and amazing covers. And I'm really looking forward to see what other ones we do get. Also, going to see like, what other artists we're going to begin involved in this. Um, but yeah, God, yeah, I would. <laughs> This video is really making me feel stupid now, like not knowing much about Power Rangers when this when this whole crossover is about Power Rangers and Turtles. I need to do some research. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I'm quite interested to hear what you have to say about this issue. Are you looking forward to it? Are you not? Uh, do you think Crane will be the villain? <laughs> um, yeah, do you think you'll be picking up the $40 uh, pack for a few exclusive covers? Or, or will you not? Yeah, again, I, I, 
Because this, this one hasn't really given us much of a description, really. There's not really too much to really go, uh, say here. But, yeah. I do hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you all, all soon. Goodbye, yo. Bye.